Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Our presider today is our pastor, Father Fernando Molina Restrepo, and our Mass will be con-celebrated by our parochial vicar, Father Brian McNavish. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the foundation of our house. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your my brothers and sisters, as we come to celebrate this Eucharist, we do so with gratitude for our mothers and with a humble attitude asking the Lord for forgiveness for our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Kyrie Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Oh 
glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you, O Lord of the Holy One, you, O Lord of the pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. From the Acts of the Apostles, as the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, it is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was accepted bull to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parnenius, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles, who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your mercy be on us, O God, as we place our trust in you. Let your mercy be on us, O God, as we place our trust in you. Exalt you just and rejoice, for praise is the song of the righteous. How happy the people, O oh God, the ones whom you have chosen. Let your mercy be on us, O oh God.
from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in the scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that will make people stumble, and a rock will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me? Philip, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Peace and love 
to all of you who are participating in this Eucharist here, and to those who are participating from your own homes via internet. Before we meditate on the scriptures for today, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you a happy Mother's Day. I also encourage all of us to take time today to express our love and gratitude to our mothers and to those wonderful women who have mentored us like a mother, offering us their love, help, and support throughout our lives. In today's Gospel, Jesus gave his disciples a very powerful invitation. Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. Jesus said this just before his passion, death, and resurrection. He did it in order to prepare his disciples for the time when he will no longer be with them. It is an invitation, but it is also a mandate. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. The Lord certainly knew his disciples then, as he also knows us, the disciples of today. Jesus knows that we are fragile human beings who from time to time experience fears, worries, and anxieties. All of that happens especially when our faith becomes weak, making us more susceptible to discouragement, anger, negativity, and sometimes even to despair. Unfortunately, when our faith becomes weak, it is probably because our prayer life has weakened. However, if our prayer and friendship with our Lord increases, so it increases also our hope, our joy, and our faith. In any case, Jesus calls us to trust in him all throughout our lives, and especially when we are facing trials and tribulations. For instance, he is calling us during this pandemic to trust in him. It does not mean that we stop our fight against this pandemic. No, it means that we do everything in our power to prevent and overcome it but we also have to invite the Lord to help us achieve that goal. In other words, we have to continue asking Jesus to help us see the solutions that we cannot find on our own. God has allowed this pandemic to come upon us for his own reasons and purposes. We may not understand that, but as followers of Christ, we are invited to trust in the Lord and to call upon him for help. Please do so, all of you. Please pray and ask the Lord for help. If not for your own, then ask for all those who are more challenged and their lives threatened by it. This is a call for all of us. Let's meditate upon the consequences brought about by the coronavirus. We all have been affected by it in one way or another. But there are those who have suffered greatly and who have experienced tremendous pain during this time. And as a result, there is a real catastrophe for so many thousands of people. For instance, some elderly people have died alone. Some families 
had been unable to give a proper funeral to their loved ones. And for other people, their future is unclear due to the uncertainty of their finances or because of a business they work hard to build, which now has collapsed. There are people who are becoming emotionally unstable. Also, there is the unresolved fear caused by massive unemployment. In a situation like this, it is normal for us to wonder and ask, why does God has allowed this to happen? My only answer to that is that perhaps we all needed to learn something from it in a personal level, as a society, and as a human family. Maybe we have to depend more in God and less in ourselves. I really do not know the full answer to that question. We will have to pray more about that and find our own answers. However, in the midst of this crisis, we can hear Jesus saying, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. God never promised that we will not have problems or crises. Jesus himself was faced with a huge problem. He was sentenced to death as a common criminal. But he rose on the third day. And Jesus will help us to rise above all of our difficulties as well. We know that if we try to live without Jesus, life will not go nearly as well for us as when we have Jesus at the center of our lives. We can overcome problems and crises better with Jesus in our lives than without him. Remember, the message of Jesus today for our moms and also for all of us is, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. May God bless you. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, 
who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, in the assurance that God dwells with us and knows our needs, let us offer our prayers. And our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Catholic Church, may Jesus May Jesus' commandment to love one another inspire in us to sincerely care for others as Christ loves us. In the risen Lord, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our mothers, bless them for their tireless love and devotion to us. Receive our departed mothers into your kingdom and help us to show kindness and love to our mothers and to women who have mentored us. In the risen Lord, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our troubled world. We struggle to move forward. May all people safely weather the storm of this pandemic. In the risen Lord, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve our country as first responders and hospital personnel, may God's grace, wisdom, and strength be with them. In the risen Lord, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, May our loving attitudes and actions bear witness to Christ living and working within us. In the risen Lord, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill or in pain or suffering, may Christ be their strength and healing. In the risen Lord, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all mothers as we celebrate them this weekend. In the risen Lord, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our faithfully departed, especially Bob Cantwell, Sue Cheney, Catherine Karras, Jerry Hajduk, and for those who have died from coronavirus, may they find peace in God's loving presence, and may their loved ones' mourning be eased with the sure and certain hope of resurrection. In the risen Lord, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions held in the silence of your heart. God, our loving Father, Keep us mindful to be loving towards others as you first loved us. Hear these prayers and grant them through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Today, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice had made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Archbishop Gregory Hartmeyer, all the clergy. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let's all pray together, you in your homes, if you just hold hands or gather together and pray with me the prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 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 Thank you. of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Those of you watching online, please join with me in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
not let your heart be troubled. Children, do not fear. Though you suffer as I suffer, I am always here. Come to the Lord. Come to the table. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before I give you the final blessing, again, I wish all of you especially the mothers, of course, a happy Mother's Day. Enjoy you the rest of the evening together. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.